Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I am so excited about this video. I can't even stop smiling because I have been waiting to film this. We are going to be using the new Sigma Cinderella palette. I have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting to get this in the mail and I finally got it. Spoiler, I'm obsessed with this. I am obsessed with this. I decided after I did the first look, I definitely had to do two more because I just, I have to use this palette more. But this was the first look I created, but I did create two more as well. And I'm gonna share all of them with you. If you're new, my name is Blair. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but I am posting every single day in October and I do all kinds of makeup and beauty content here on my channel, so I hope you will stick around, and let's go ahead and get into look number one. I'm so excited for this video. It I feel like I've been waiting for this palette forever. I ordered it almost two weeks ago. It took quite a while to get here, but it's finally here, so we're going to be using the new Sigma Cinderella eyeshadow palette, and oh my gosh, you guys, when I got, I actually got this in the mail yesterday and I opened it up and I just took a bunch of pictures of it because it's so, it's almost, it is too pretty to even mess up. So I'm kind of sad that I'm about to mess it up, but I mean, I literally cannot wait to use this. This is the most excited I've been about a palette since the Patrick Ta palette came out. And that's saying something because I love that palette. Okay, so let's do some swatches real quick. I kind of went back and forth about whether or not I was going to swatch it because I know a lot of people have been swatching it, but I feel like this palette deserves the dedication of swatches. So that is shade number one. That is shade Wishful Pumpkin. Fantasy. That was a bad swatch. <laughs> this is why I don't do them because I always end up making them crooked. And Okay, this color, you guys, I'm so excited about this one. This is Courtyard. Oh my gosh. Matches my sweater. All right, I had to go get a makeup wipe so I could wipe these off my hands so I don't mix all the colors together. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one is one of a kind. It's like a blue with some purple shimmer in it. Oh my gosh. Then we have Kindness. This is a matte purple. It's like Barney purple. <laughs> Charming. These are swatching really well. So Charming is that gold. Then we have, let's see, Mischievous. I guess it's supposed to be black, yeah. Then we have dressmakers, oh gosh. That's like a rose gold. Okay, next we have cinders, which is like a warm brown. Then we have sweet nightingale, which is this pretty shimmery, oh my lord, blue. Kind of a turquoise with a little bit of a greenish tint to it. Then we have Hopeful, which is a matte blue, like a navy blue. And then we have, oh my gosh, I, I cannot wait to see this one. Bibbidi Boppity Boo. Oh my gosh, look at that. And then last is a dark matte purple. Oops, I'm running out of room. And this one is Stroke of Midnight. I feel like this palette looks even better in person. It looks pretty like in the photos that I've seen of it, but it's even better to look at in person. Okay, so let me wipe this off my arm and then we're gonna get started. I think I'm gonna do two looks with this, maybe even three because I love this so much. I wanna use every shade in here. And one look is not going to be enough for me. So I think we're definitely going to do two, maybe three. We'll see once we get going. But I'm so excited. 
let's get started so I already did my eyebrows obviously and then I use my NARS eyeshadow primer so I'm thinking this first look actually hold on a second you guys I'm so excited about this I didn't even show you I also got the brush set so it comes in this cute little bag and then you get five brushes I tried really hard not to buy these I swear I really did but like I couldn't help it you guys I just couldn't help it so you get the let's see the F10 which is a powder blush brush you get the F80 flat top kabuki which is uh, one of their most popular foundation brushes you get the E40 um what else you get E55 which is like a shader brush and then the E30 which is a pencil brush I'm like they're so cute they have like the little Cinderella face on them right there and then they say Cinderella and Sigma on this oh, we're gonna get started I'm thinking this first look is gonna be more of the blue green so we'll see where it goes. So I'm first going to go into pumpkin. And this color is just the most obvious transition color, I think, in the palette. So, so we're going to go. And I'm using actually the brush that came with the palette right now. So that color blended perfectly. Honestly, I probably could just... Well, I don't know. I was going to say I could skip like a transitional shade and just kind of go in with the color, but I always feel like eyeshadow just turns out better if you put something to kind of help blend down first. Now we're going to go into the shade I have not been able to stop thinking about, and it's this green called Courtyard. It's literally the exact color of my sweater that I have on. And I'm going to use my BK Beauty 202 brush because I know how to use this brush. Sometimes with darker shades like this, I get nervous when I use new brushes because, I don't know, I just like using something that I know. So we are going to start with this. Oh my, look how pigmented that is. Okay, so we're going to start with this on the outer corner. I'm like nervous. <laughs> I don't know why. I think because I've just been thinking about this palette since it came out. And now I finally have it. I'm just like, ah. Oh my gosh, what a pretty color. Wow. Very pigmented. Um, and this brush works perfectly for this kind of shade because it's tapered. So can kind of lay it down but you can also blend with it it's the perfect shape okay so I'm not taking any new product I'm just going back and kind of pulling whatever is left up into the crease just a little bit Okay, now I'm going back into Pumpkin, the one we used first, and I'm going to use the E40 that came in the set. And I'm going to add a little bit more of this where we put it originally up above my crease. I feel like when you're working with shades like this that have a good bit of pigment, you have to blend, gradually kind of build it up. At least I do. If you're more skilled, I guess maybe you don't. You can just kind of slap it on. But I feel like with this kind of color, it's always best to kind of blend it as you go and be really, really thorough. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to go into Hopeful, which is the navy. And I'm going to use... The smaller side of the brush that comes with the palette which is the E54 and I'm just gonna tap this very very lightly on the outer corner this is also very pigmented this color mm. okay 
And then let's see, I'm going to take the BK Beauty 202 that we used earlier and just kind of lightly, like really, really lightly going over it with little circles and then kind of going over the crease. Now I'm going in with a little more of that green, which is Courtyard. And I'm just going to add a little bit more of that in this outer V area. So I still want to have a little bit of that green color. The navy definitely kind of turns it a little more blue-green, which I like too. But, okay. Then I'm going to take this shade, Sweet Nightingale, this really pretty turquoise. I'm going to use the brush that came in the set, which is the E55. And I'm going to try it dry first. And I'm going to pack this. Oh gosh, that's pretty on the outer corner and kind of bring it over into the middle. Oh my lord. I'd even wet the brush and look at that. I really want to use this shade one of a kind. I'm going to use this shade right here. So this is the one that is almost like a periwinkle. It's a silvery blue, but it has a little bit of like a purple shimmer to it. It's so interesting and pretty. And I'm going to tap this on the inner corner. You guys, these shimmers are so good that I'm not even... <laughs> Normally I would do this with like my finger. I'm not wetting my brush with Fix Plus or anything. I'm just literally like tapping it on. And oh my gosh. Reminds me so much of the ambiance palette from Sigma, which I love. I'm going to go back into Pumpkin one more time. I'm going to use the E40 again. And we're just going to blend a little bit. So when I use a color like this, I like to kind of tone it down a little bit. I know some people do this and it's like very vibrant. Not that this isn't, but you know what I mean. Like very kind of stark looking. I want to use color, but I want it to look as soft as it can. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to decide if I want to take a little bit of that black and kind of stamp it on my lash line maybe. Yeah, I think I'll try it. So I'm going to take the mischievous shade. And for this, I actually might spray a little bit of MAC Fix Plus on my brush just to try it. Sometimes if you're trying to use a dark shade for liner, that works really well. And then I'm just going to go and do like half of my lash line, I think. And we'll bring it out a little bit. I'm doing just, or I'm trying to do, just a little bit of a wing. Okay, that's nice. Like I said I was going to do a little bit of a wing, it turned into a lot of a wing, but oh well. I think that's as good as it's going to get, but holy moly, these colors, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. I'm probably not going to include it because if I do multiple looks with this palette, this video is going to be like really, really long. So I think I'll do that off camera and I'll, I'll list everything I use below like always. Um, and then I'll come back and we'll finish up with the lower lash line and some mascara. I've done pretty much all my makeup and I want to do the lower lash line now. I think I'm going to keep it pretty simple for the lower lash line. I'm going to go into pumpkin first, which is that transition shade we used. And I'm going to put this all along the lash line. And then I'm going to take the green courtyard and I'm going to put this in, like, on the outer half of my lower lash line. And 
This is way far out of my comfort zone, but I kind of love it. So I think I'm gonna take Wishful, which is that first shade, the lightest shimmer, just a light champagne. So I'm just gonna use this little Real Techniques brush and we're gonna pop just a little bit of that shade on my inner corner. It's so pretty. This is like a perfect inner corner highlight. It's very neutral. It's not like super, super warm or super cool. It's kind of right in between. And that's going to be it for the shadow for this look. Let me go ahead and put on some mascara and my lip and I'll come back and show you the finished look. Okay, this is the finished look, you guys. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say other than I love this. This is definitely not something that you normally see me do on my eyes, but I am loving this. Loving it. Obviously not an everyday look, but what a pretty color combination. First impression of this is 10 out of 10, 12 out of 10. I don't know. I can't I don't even know what to say. I can't get over it. I love this so much, but I definitely want to do another more purpley look and then I want to do more of a neutral glammy kind of look. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. I'm going to take some pictures first, but I'm going to take this off and then we'll move on to look number two. Okay, I'm back. I took off all my makeup. I tried to just take off the eye makeup, but that really just is hard to do without messing anything up. So I just took it all off. Um, and I wanted to start over and have a fresh canvas because I want all of these looks to be their own thing. You know what I mean? So I'm wanting this look to be purpley. So we're going to start out with the same shade we did with the first look, which is pumpkin. And I do have my NARS eyeshadow base on again. And I did set it with a little bit of powder. It's the best eyeshadow base, you guys. If you need one, I would highly recommend that one. Okay, now we're gonna go into this matte purple called Kindness. And I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 202 brush again. And we're gonna start packing this on the outer corner and then blending up just a little bit into the crease. This purple is blending really well. Sometimes purples can be kind of tricky to blend. But this one is blending really well. Then we're gonna take the dark purple in the palette, which is called Stroke of Midnight. And I'm taking uh, the E54 side of the brush that comes in the palette. And we're just gonna pack this on the outer V here. That, oh gosh, these colors, oh my goodness. This is a really good brush to have for some of these darker colors because you can really pack it where you're wanting it and then you can use this side or another brush to blend it out. I'll just go in and use the other side of the brush now. And we're just gonna go over everything in very small little circles, really, really lightly. Okay, I'm torn <laughs> if I want to go into Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo or Fantasy. I think I'm going to do Fantasy first. So I'm going to use the E55 from the brush collection. And I'm just going to pretty much do what I did earlier, which is pack this in the center and then pull it over to the outer corner, oh my goodness. Adding a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna try adding just a little with my finger. Yeah, you get a little more pigment with that color, with your finger. So I'll use my finger on this side. 
Look at that sparkle though. I want to use that Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo shade. Looks purple, but then when you put it on, it has like purple and blue shimmer in it. Oh, look at that. I mean, I'm going to take a little bit more on my finger. Just kind of tap it on. I'm going to go back into pumpkin and just add a little bit more of this up to the crease area. Okay, then I'm going to go back into a little more of kindness, which is that first purple that we used. And I'm using my BK Beauty 202 brush for this. And I'm just going to add a little bit more of that shade to the outer corner and then bring it up a little bit. I'm not going to go all the way in with this color, but kind of want to bring it up just a little bit. I'm going to spray the smaller side of my double-ended brush and I'm going to try... Um, going into dressmakers so that one that's like a rose gold and i'm gonna pack a little bit of that on the very inner corner just to add a little bit of brightness there and i think that is gonna be it i don't think i'm gonna do liner with this look. This is so pretty, but I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and we'll do the lower lash line and finish up look number two. Okay, let's do the lower lash line. Okay, I'm gonna go into kindness, so the purple, and we're gonna put this on the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit of the dark purple Stroke of Midnight. I'm going to put just a tiny bit of that on the outer half of the lower lash line. So I'm going to go into Wishful, which is the light champagne -y shade. And we're going to pop this on the inner corner. And I think that is it. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at these colors. I think what's most impressive about this palette is both looks, this one and the first one, I feel like look more difficult than they actually were because these shadows are so good. So, so good. Okay, so I'm going to do my mascara and my lips and then we will finish up look number two. All right, this is the final second look. What do you guys think? I, again, love this. I'm like, I'm not exaggerating. I am so impressed with this palette. I mean, I knew I was gonna like it because I just love the color story when I saw it, but it's even better in person, you guys. It really is. Mm, you can do so much with it too. Like this, you could do purple, you could do more of the greeny and blue, or you could do something more neutral, which is going to be the last one that I'm going to do, but oh my gosh, I love this. I don't know what else to say. I feel like I'm just saying the same thing over and over, but it's because this is such a pretty palette. I'm going to go take this off one more time, and we will do one final look with this palette. Okay, I'm back. For the third look, it's a good thing because my face is starting to get irritated from washing my face so much. So let's go ahead and get into look number three. And this one is going to be the more neutral look. So we're going to use the same shade we've used for all the looks, pumpkin. And this is going to be our transition shade. Next, I'm going to take Cinders, which is the kind of reddish matte brown. It's more of a, or it is a matte brown. And we're going to put this on the outer corner. And pull it up into the crease just a little bit. I'm using a What's Up Beauty brush. 
This is R102. Those two colors look really good together, pumpkin and cinders. I like those a lot. Okay, now let's go into this gold shimmer called Charming. And we're gonna put this on the lid and bring it out and up a little bit. So basically I'm using the same method for all three of these looks. I'm just changing the colors. Mainly because this shape method for eyeshadow works for my eye shape. I'm gonna take um, the shader brush, the E55, and spray it with MAC Fix Plus and go into Dressmakers, which is the like rose gold shade down here. And we're gonna pack this on the inner corner and just kind of tap it over into the center and kind of carve out our lid area. That color is so pretty. I'm gonna take the E40 blending brush and a little bit of pumpkin and I'm holding my brush almost to the very, very edge. And we're just gonna blend a bit more. Try to bring that color in slightly. I'm gonna go into the black, which is mischievous. And I'm gonna use just a little smudger brush. And I'm just gonna kind of pack this on like the outer half of the upper lash line. I'm just kind of stamping it basically and I'm not going to bring it all the way in. I'm just kind of lightly stamping it like that just so we get a little bit of that definition. And this is the BK Beauty 204 brush. So I'm gonna take that little angled brush we used earlier and I'm gonna spray and use the black again as liner and I'm just gonna pack it as close to my lashes as I can get, like almost really trying to get in between the lashes. So not really tight lining, but I don't know what you would call this. I'm just trying to get in between the lashes. And then you can always go up on the top lash line and just kind of feather over where we smudged a little. And then I'll take my smudge brush again and just lightly go over it so it's really smoky looking. So it's kind of the same thing I've been doing lately with like a liquid liner, you go in between the lashes instead of going on the lash line or in the water line. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do for right now. I'll do the rest of my face and then we will finish up with the final look. Okay, let's finish up the lower lash line. Let's see, I'm gonna take pumpkin, so the transition shade that we've been using. Okay, I'm gonna take pumpkin all the way across. Let me use a different brush. I feel like that one is stained from that purple. Let me try this one. This is the What's Up Beauty pencil brush. I think it's the R101, yeah. And then we'll take Cinders, which is this, oh no, sorry, this is Cinders, the reddish brown. And we'll put that on the outer half. Make sure to kind of connect it up. And then I think that's it, other than I'm gonna take Dressmakers one more time on my finger. And I'm going to tap that on the inner part of the lid. And then again, I'm going to take Wishful, the really light shimmer, and pop that on the inner corner. 
I'm gonna take the mischievous shades of the black and I'm gonna try I'm not gonna wet the brush again I'm just gonna take a Smashbox wing or wing shadow brush whatever it's called and wing it out just a little Okay, I'm gonna quickly do my mascara and my lips, and then I'll come back and we will wrap up this video. Okay, and this is the finished third look. You guys, I love this one too. Honestly, I do not know what I can really say about this palette other than I love it so much. This may become one of my favorite palettes in my collection. I'm not gonna say it is because this is my first time using it, obviously, but I love this. This is such a versatile palette. I don't have anything bad to say about this. The color story is beautiful. All of the shades blended so well, just like my ambiance palette, so I'm not really surprised. Every single shade in here, I love. I used every shade in these three looks, and I love them all. I love them all. And as you can see, you could do something really neutral with this palette, something more purple, something more blue, something more green. I mean, there's so much versatility in this palette. You get mattes and shimmers. You get the black, which is great for liner or just adding darkness and smokiness to your lash look or your eye look. I love this, you guys. I don't say this often, but I highly recommend you buy this palette. If you have any interest in it whatsoever, I would definitely buy it. It's limited edition, so I don't know how long it's going to be around on Sigma.com. So if you want it, I would suggest going ahead and buying it because I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> I love it, and I think so worth the money, and I'm so, so happy that I bought this. This I will definitely continue to use. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you liked look one, look two, or look three the best. I love them all. I don't think I can pick one to be honest. Truly, I love all three. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if you got this palette. If you're thinking about it, let me know. I will list everything I used on my face for all three looks in my description box with links if you're curious about anything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. I post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I am posting every day in October. So I hope you guys are enjoying that. Please follow me on Instagram at simply.flair and TikTok simply.flair01. I'll see you in my next video. Remember, simply be you. Bye.